Well, everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at what the main differences are between a brand new iPad and a certified refurbished iPad from Apple. Now, the thing is, is that you can buy a brand new iPad and a certified refurbished iPad from more places than just Apple. It's not going to be like a completely certified refurbished iPad, but you have options here. But in this case, we'll be just looking at Apple's website, apple.com, and seeing basically what they have available. Now, in my opinion, as I've always stated, if you have all the money in the world and it's a perfect situation that you're in, getting a brand new iPad is the thing that probably makes the most amount of sense to the most amount of people. You have the highest likelihood of getting the best quality iPad. You can spec it out exactly however you want it. And definitely, you know, it's going to cost more money. But like I said, if you have all the money in the world, then obviously go that route. But obviously nobody has all the money in the world, including myself. So that's why I typically do like the used and refurbished iPads and you know products in general because they are just such great value for dollars. I will even say that Apple's certified refurbished product lineup isn't actually as overpriced as I thought it was going to be because in the used market, you can buy iPads all day for like way half, like for less than half, like I won't say less than half, but for way cheaper than what they're available online brand new. So in a case like this, dollar for dollar, you are probably getting a better iPad for the value per dollar standpoint, like a better priced iPad for a refurbished one than a brand new one. Now, the first thing I also want to say on top of that is like the second thing now is when you're getting a refurbished iPad, the only difference for the most part, at least what Apple states, is that it is a used iPad that is now basically brand new. Whereas when you get a brand new iPad, it was built just for you. That kind of rhyme. So from Apple's certified refurbished learn more portion of their website, they say, all refurbished iPad models come with a new battery, new outer shell, and are backed by a one-year warranty. They have free delivery returns, and they also include full functional testing, genuine Apple parts replacements if necessary, and a thorough cleaning. They also say the original operating system, okay, whatever. Then they also say all refurbished devices are repackaged in a brand new box with all the accessories and cables. Now, one caveat, the box that they actually give you, it's not the full brand new box like you would normally get. It's a different style of box. I think it says like certified refurbished iPad or something on the front of the box too. So it's not necessarily like the brand new box that you would normally get, but still, I don't think that's that big of a deal. And I think even in an example like that, I think it's totally fine. You know, I'm really not that, you know, that's really not that big of a deal to me personally. So keep that in mind. Basically, you're getting an iPad that is, that looks brand new. I've bought several certified refurbished iPads, but also several certified refurbished products from Apple, including iPhones. I think I bought an iPod one time, but iPads, iMacs so many different products, MacBooks as well, and they are solid devices. They have all been given to me brand new almost, and I'm actually pretty happy with the way, I mean, from how much money I spent to what I got compared to what they were brand new, it's actually a pretty good deal. Now, what is the caveat of a certified refurbished product? Well, the main issue that I typically have with a certified refurbished product, even iPads in this example, is one, availability, and two, which, you know, you can't just spec it out exactly however you want it. You can only buy what they have. So luckily for you, they have tons of different iPads available, so you should be able to find the one that you basically want, but not every single iPad is available. If Apple just dropped a brand new iPad, let's say they dropped a brand new you know, M3 iPad Pro like the next year, it's going to take quite a bit of time until that iPad is available in the certified refurbished market. If I take a look at Apple's you know specific iPad you know lineup right now, it doesn't look like they have any of the M2 iPad Pros. It looks like they have the M1 iPad Pros available, but they do not have the M2 ones that just came out. So actually, it doesn't even look like they have the M1 iPad Pros. It looks like they only have the, M the A12Z chipset ones. So the reason why that's important for me to say is because not every single iPad is available. So yeah, if they were, then that would be awesome but it doesn't look like they have even the M1 iPad Pros available just yet. So it can take some time, and if they do, there's a less quantity, so typically it's almost like first come, first serve. So you, I hope they have, you know, I hope they end up having the iPad that you want, but in case they don't, you will probably have to go in the brand new market. But I will add on top of that, one good thing about the certified refurbished one is that you have the ability of not only saving money, but you can also buy a older version of that iPad if you really want to or if you need to. So for some reason you wanted to buy like the iPad ninth generation and Apple's no longer selling it, they are currently, but let's say they aren't selling it anymore brand new. Well, you might be able to go in their certified refurbished market and you might actually be able to buy that ninth gen iPad 
in the certified refurbished market if somebody returned it. So that's kind of a cool thing. I mean, I'm seeing a bunch of older iPads that Apple is no longer selling in the brand new market in their certified refurbished market. This includes the iPad 7th generation, so that one was kind of old, the iPad mini 5, the iPad 8th generation, the original iPad Pro, not the original one, but the 11 inch one, the first generation of the 11 inch ones, the iPad Air 4 they're still selling here, they're still selling the iPad 11 second generation as well as the iPad Pro 12.9 inch second generation as well. So you are getting a wide selection of different iPads from several different years of release, which can actually be pretty beneficial to a lot of people. So you're saving money and if you want to buy an even older iPad, let's say you don't want to buy the M11, let's say you want to buy an older one, well you can save a little bit of money there. However, I will say it still might make a little bit more sense to go ahead and just buy the brand new one at that point because it can give you a little bit of a longer lasting experience. And instead of you buying an iPad and missing out on features and then upgrading two years from now, you can just buy an M1 or M2 iPad Pro and end up you know, keeping that thing for four or five years and kind of save money in the long run if you kind of think about it that way. So there's a few different ways to think about it, but I would almost say that getting a refurbished iPad from Apple is almost like buying a brand new iPad from Apple. You just have an older selection to choose from. You are saving a little bit of money, but there are some constraints. With a brand new iPad, you are getting the latest and greatest. You're getting pretty much the best warranty that you can buy, and you can buy Apple Care on top of that as well. I'm not too sure if you can buy Apple Care on these certified or furbished products. I can go ahead and try checking out and seeing if I can, but just I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, so you actually can. You can add Apple Care Plus to these iPad Pros and probably the iPad Airs as well. So you can still add Apple Care if you want to to these certified or furbished products, which is actually kind of nice as well. So you actually, that's kind of a decent deal then in that specific example, but that still kind of doesn't answer the question. But to kind of go ahead and kind of sway back to the main question at hand and you know ask yourself, which should you buy? A certified refurbished one or a brand new one? And like I said, if they have the specific iPad that you want available in the refurbished market, then by all means go for it. I think it makes so much sense to do that. And I think that's probably one of the smartest things you can do to actually go ahead and save a bunch of money as easy easily as possible, that is probably the way I would recommend doing it. However, if you aren't comfortable buying a certified refurbished iPad, or let's say the iPad that you want is not available, well then the only choice you're really going to have is to buy it in the brand new market. You are saving a little bit of money by going in the certified refurbished market, but if your iPad is not available there, there's really not too many choices you have. You pretty much have to go and buy the brand new one for the most part, which is totally fine as well. Then in that case, what I would recommend doing is buying that brand new iPad, keeping it for as long as you can, and then when you go and buy the next iPad, you can have a trade-in. You know, you can trade in your you know last iPad to the newer one that you want, and you can probably still get a little bit of money. I'm still seeing 2018 and 2020 iPads here, meaning, and even like iPads from before then, meaning that people are trading in their older iPads for these specific devices. So Apple is still going to be refurbishing a lot, probably like two or three year old iPads two or three years from now. So I don't think that's a bad idea either. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.